Introducing the all new Corolla. This is Betsy Brown. James Hughes had every reason to want to get to Guam in a hurry when United Flight 201 finally took off from Honolulu a few hours late Friday Guam time. I was angry, okay, because I was running late for my wedding. <laughs> uh, I'm a newlywed, and so therefore this delay definitely had affected our, many people's lives. But even with his bride Francis waiting at his destination, Hughes doesn't believe the plane carrying him and more than 330 other passengers should have ever left the runway. I think they should have gave us a new plane from the start. After being asleep for a couple of hours in flight, Hughes says he began to feel some turbulence. When I woke up, there was an announcement from the captain that there was like something wrong with the plane. And there was like, we're about to turn around to Honolulu uh, due to some chemical or electrical smell. And there was another announcement uh, two minutes later that we don't have enough time, we have to land now. From seat 37G, Hughes didn't notice the electrical smell, but the passengers in the rows ahead of him did. And he says they all felt the plane drop. All of us felt like a huge turbulence. There was a big drop of the plane. Um, it felt like just like a roller coaster ride, but only our lives were at stake. The captain announced that we lost a lot of equipment, uh, a lot of gas. Uh, so therefore, we landed. When we touched ground, it took about three seconds to pull the brakes. After a harrowing landing on Midway Atoll, Hughes and the other passengers waited several hours for a new plane to arrive, which took them back to Honolulu. Although many of us were very angry, we were very grateful because Things could always be worse. I'd like to thank my, uh, the captain who made the decision to land the plane on the midway. We believe that the island saved our lives because it was basically on a matter of countdown. Um, this electrical failure was potentially a fire hazard. The passengers of UA-201 eventually made it to Guam on Saturday night and Hughes was married on Sunday but he says the luggage remains on board their first aircraft at Midway. Betsy Brown, PNC News.